criteria and constraints. You put these words up on the wall, you just tape them there, and you say there is a difference between criteria and constraints. And throughout the week, I'm going to give you challenges, and those challenges are both going to have the criteria, which I define as a client, and you'll have constraints, which the world defines, as in materials and time and things like that. So the criteria is what I want. I would like a bridge, but not just any bridge. I want a state-of-the-art bridge that is also organic and wonderful and beautiful and has colors and artistic. That's me saying that. That's the criteria. Our constraints are, what's your budget? How much time do we have? What materials do we actually have available to us? So the world kind of sets the constraints. I set the criteria based on my goals and ideas. So if you're dealing with a client or if you're dealing with a situation, the criteria is what you'd really like to get out of it. Your constraints are what you really have to deal with. So there's definitely always a situation between criteria and constraints because what you want, you might not get depending on your constraints. So learning the difference. This is real world what you actually have. And this is what you really want. So criteria is your client's view. Constraints is what the world gives you.